I'm Connie McDougall for Seattle City Light. There are hundreds of miles of City Light transmission lines crisscrossing Western Washington, and under those lines are thousands of acres of undeveloped land, but there are major exceptions. At first glance on a warm summer day, this could appear to be farmland in Southeast Asia. It's actually a communal garden in Seattle's Rainier Valley, growing beneath the power lines. Potentially dangerous for many activities, the land beneath the high voltage lines is ideal for individually tended garden plots. City Light allows the areas to be cultivated because it frees its own vegetation management division from whacking down weeds and trimming back trees and bushes beneath these sections of the transmission line pathways. Daily visits by gardeners also reduce the amount of vandalism to City Light structures. Seattle City Light has four areas designated as pea patches, allowing urban Seattle residents plots of land to cultivate. This one, located on South Thistle Avenue, isn't your garden variety pea patch, however. It is a demonstration of the diverse subsistence farming techniques used in various parts of Eastern Asia. Oh, thank you very much. Department of Neighborhoods' Julie Bryan helps coordinate the activities at this spot shared among immigrants from the mountain areas of Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam. They're polycropping, you, where you, uh, they scatter so, and then they come in and they tuck stuff in around. And that comes from their traditional farming practice, which is slash and burn. Brian says the plantings are very different from what you'd find in a traditional pea patch in Seattle. Decorative flowers are non-existent. The tangle of greens crammed in the small plots appear to be overgrown with weeds, but are actually important medicinal herbs and food plants native to Asia. Bitter squash and edible nightshade, along with more Western vegetables like sunflowers and corn. A few steps away is another example of Asian farming technique, this common to Koreans and much more regimented and linear in appearance. Again, cultural tastes dictate different herbs and plants. Okay. Yao Fu Chao works for the Washington State University Extension Service and Seattle Pea Patch Program. He says these small plots are very important to the immigrants. Garden has two, three, four, five different ways. Some garden for fun, mm -hmm. some garden for food. The, the, the theory is we garden for food. I also have to work with them because I want to teach them how to be organic gardener, eating better, more nutrition. Chow, who immigrated to Seattle in the late 1970s, says that there are some important safety considerations for gardening beneath the high voltage lines. Storage sheds and metal fences are not allowed because of the potential for short circuits. Some people still don't learn. They still use rebars or stuff like that that they, lay, you know, they get from somewhere and they use for a stick. So we, we take it out. We can't wait until the city light fight down because I am responsible for right or wrong here. Obviously, agricultural machinery is also restricted. All work is done by hand with the biggest tools being wheelbarrows. There are four other pea patch gardens on City Light rights of way and more than 40 community gardens managed by Seattle Department of Neighborhoods pea patch programs. For more information, visit their website at www.seattle.gov forward slash neighborhoods forward slash pea patch or call 684-0264. I'm Connie McDougall and this has been a special report from your Seattle City Light.